Greetings, today I would like to touch upon such conspiracy theory as Putin's doppelgangers. The unexpected appearance of the President of Russia, who is wanted by the International Criminal Court, at the headquarters of the Dnepr and Vostok groups, which are responsible for the actions of Russian troops I in the occupied left bank of Kherson and Luhansk regions, is actually not entirely unexpected. As you may recall, not too long ago, he had already appeared in occupied Mariupol, giving a short impromptu speech to a couple of local separatists under the cover of the night. In turn, the completely meaningless visit proved to be a highlight of the propaganda show in Russia. First of all, to understand why Putin has come to the occupied territories, it should be understood that this is a very cowardly person or extremely cautious, take your pick. The measure of his paranoia is off the charts. And if anyone wants to say that it was a double who met with General Lapian, I want to disappoint, Putin has no double. Despite the photos and detailed comparisons of all his clones circulating on the net, I strongly doubt it, but you can write in the comments why I am wrong. And he has no doppelgangers because Putin is afraid of them and not only them. For example, in 2016, he did not leave Russia for six months, fearing that his plane might be shot down by the treacherous Americans. For six months he visited only Belarus, which is hardly foreign. In 2020, as everyone remembers, he hid for a year in a bunker for fear of the coronavirus. By the way, all official events were then kept to a minimum, although he could have used lookalikes at least every day. Why not use? But lately he has been making one demonstrative visit to the occupied territories of Ukraine after another. One can only imagine how this situation is breaking him. After all, he is afraid to leave the helicopter until the blades stop. Before I continue, I ask you to subscribe to my channel, it will help to promote it. Such visits demonstrate that the Russians want to convince them that everything goes according to plan in Ukraine. A beautiful picture of a controlled situation, against the background of panic in the Russian general staff, which cannot predict the direction of the counterattack by the AFU and prepare for it. Yes, the visit is indicative. It is indicative that Putin personally had to drag himself to the temporarily occupied territories. He did this in order to once again convince consumers of the information fast food about the stability of the so-called special military operation. One gets the impression that by traveling at a safe distance from the front line through the occupied territories, Putin was not only trying to compete with Zelensky, who had arrived at the forefront, in Avajivka, but also to distract the attention of the Russian domestic consumer from the fact that it is the second half of April, but not even Baklut has been seized. I am amazed at such steely testicles of the President of Ukraine, but look for yourself on the map at his location in Avajivka. In Bakhmut itself, fierce fighting continues. The most intense in terms of assaults by Russian troops is in the northern sector. Overall the situation remains critically stable. But most importantly, the Russians cannot impose their terms of engagement on the Ukrainian side, and that is important. I'm wrapping up for today but I'll see you all tomorrow.